Peace and love, beautiful Taurus energies. Come on in, come on in. Welcome to the dynasty, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Let's get into this energy. I hope you are all doing beautiful. I hope you're feeling well. I hope you are understanding what is happening with this blood moon energy, okay? This blood moon energy, Taurus, is about change from within you, all right? And it involves how things look from outside of you as well. So in a way, this eclipse that is happening, this lunar eclipse, is a way to renew, to refreshing, to really give ourselves the insight that is needed, which comes in the form as a gift to self. So while we are in this energy of gifting ourselves, enjoy this beautiful full moon energy. Let me get your read in. Let's get into this energy, my beautiful Taurus energies. Let's see what's going on in the energy. I'm going to start with this Kipper deck, with the Kipper, and get into this energy. See what's going on with the family ties and the energy, okay, of what is happening around you as well, okay? Because these things are changing. I am protected by my spirit guides, my host of angels and ancestors as I channel these messages. I am protected. Take what is yours, leave what is not. Spirit cards for Taurus. Taurus energies. It's More cards. Mm, too many. Let's go ahead and put these over. Mm -hmm. Get into this beautiful energy. I hope you are really tapped in. I mean, do you feel it? Do you feel the change? Make sure you check your placements. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as your north node to get the gist of these different energies that you are experiencing under this moon. I took a picture of the moon last night. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. So we really are in the midst of feeling the strength of it today and tomorrow. Okay? It'll be strongest tomorrow. Mm-hmm. More cards for Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. More cards. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. to flipped over. More cards, Spirit. Let's find out what's going on in this energy. Okay, let's talk about it. Taurus energy, what I see happening is there is an official person, the energy of an official person or someone who is held in um, high standings, high standards. Mm-hmm. This energy is associated to the family room. So things that took place are that are taking place are that will take place. Okay. Spirit is telling me has taken place in the family room when it comes to a marriage. Okay. When it comes to bad health as well, someone may not be, you know, well, doing well. Mm hmm. Yeah. This individual are an individual in this marriage is in despair. So this energy is feeling in despair. They're not feeling so good when it comes to their health as well. And they also feel as if they have some expectations in regards of feminine energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this feminine energy is connected to sudden wealth. There's sudden wealth that is here. Mm -hmm. This sudden wealth is a letter or a message of concern to someone. So let's go ahead and tap into this energy, okay? 
someone may be receiving a letter or a message of concern when it comes to the expectations of this connection to this sudden wealth. Let's talk about this marriage, okay? Spirit, tell us about the marriage. Oh, thank you, Spirit. A mature man, okay? There is a mature man that is involved in this marriage. More, Spirit. Tell us about the mature man and the marriage. Mm. Change. Change is happening, okay? When it comes to this marriage, my Taurus energies. In this picture, it depicts a man leaving with his suitcase on his way to jump in his chariot, right? About to get in the car and leaving the house, right? Mm -hmm. And they may be leaving in the house for what they deem or consider as a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's talk about it. Mm. Tell us about the family room spirit. Taurus energies. Community, uh-huh. So there is a community of individuals that evidently has some type of discussion, some type of interaction or action in the community room, okay? This is a gathering of someone, mm-hmm, of something, uh-huh, yeah. Let's talk more about the community spirit. Why is the community in the living room? In the living room. Okay. We got two cards that came out. We're going to just keep them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was a conversation about some fortune, some great fortune, and someone's quest and journey towards that fortune, okay? Possibly, of course, connected to the sudden wealth energy. Mm -hmm. So someone, the Spirit is telling me, someone is looking to depart. Mm -hmm. from this community and they made this announced in the family room or amongst a room full of individuals in a community okay and they are telling them like look i'm going the other way i'm going to where the great fortune is and this is a journey this is a new life for me uh-huh because changes are being made and we see that happening right mm-hmm and it may be concerning a main male, okay? A main male. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it some more. The official person. What is the official person here for, Spirit? For Taurus energies. Blood moon. Mm. Okay, the official person is here concerning courthouse. Uh-huh. A courthouse, okay? And this is occupation here. Somebody is working on this energy of whatever it is that's concerning the courthouse and an official person right it would have to be something upstanding if this official person is connected to the courthouse that's the energy at least we feel it or look at it in courthouse spirit courthouse for sad excuse me somebody may be dealing with a sag mm. tourist energies Mm. There's too many cards. Let me put those back in. Taurus. Thank you. It's me. Mm. A mature woman. Okay. So there's a mature woman involving a courthouse energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When it comes to this official person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's find out more. Mm. And this mature woman is also concerned about this gift as well. Mm hmm Yeah. Why, spirit, is this bad health here? Mm. Wow. Occupation and privileged lady flips over. Okay. So bad health, somebody is in their occupation working. Somebody is feeling sick over a privileged lady. 
Uh huh. Who is in her occupation? Uh huh. Somebody's feeling they're sick over. They're they're in bad health. This energy of the privileged lady is causing despair. Uh huh. Yeah, when it comes to this bad health. Mm. Let's talk about it some more. Spirit, tell us about the mature woman. Lovers. Mm. Okay. So the lovers is here for the mature woman. Hmm. Concerning the court. Tell us about the lover spirit. Coffin. Okay, so this is why the court is here. So there's been a death put to the lovers. Mm-hmm. Concerning the mature woman, the courthouse, and the official person. So it looks like it's going to be a separation, a death put to an official person. Somebody who wants to be in the energy or is in the energy of wanting to be that official person. And they're connected to this mature woman. There's a coffin, okay? When it comes to the lovers. Mm. So something is ending. That's clear. Something is ending. And we have this privileged lady that is over here who is in her occupation, who someone is sick over. Tell us about the privileged lady, Spirit. Privileged lady. Why is the privileged lady here? Mm, someone is concerned about the privileged lady. Mm -hmm. Someone is concerned. And they're in despair. Mm hmm. Mm. Message of concern. Spirit, message of concern. Mm, a distant horizon. Mm hmm. Someone is concerned about someone possibly leaving and traveling. Mm hmm. Dis a distance in a distance. You got the bird that is flying away. I mean, we have the balloon ship in the sky. Yeah, this is distant horizon. Somebody may be flying somewhere, taking a trip, and someone is concerned. It's a message of concern about that. Okay, and also this child is here. Now, this child also represents a new start, and we see the change that is happening, okay? Or it could be a child that is in concern as well, right? Distant horizon. But I see change happening, mm-hmm. Child represents a new start, mm-hmm. Unexpected income is also here when I split the deck. Let's talk about it. Distant horizon spirit. Mm. Yeah, someone is, has some unexpected income and they're looking to travel away from the home. Mm -hmm. Or possibly go towards someone else's house, okay? Mm -hmm. With their unexpected income. Mm. I'm going to pull a couple of more cards. I'm going to pull one more for the expectation, and then we're going to go ahead and get into some tarot. Beautiful Taurus energy expectation. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, wow. That was fly. The expectations is a pathway. Yeah. Someone is in this energy. The expectation is that someone sees a pathway, that sees the light, you know, comes to this energy of um, knowing that there is hope, destiny. Uh-huh. And it may be a main male energy. Yeah. Maybe a main male energy. Let's talk about the Sutton Wealth spirit. Sutton Wealth. I'm Sutton Wealth here. 
Mm, because poverty is here now. Mm-hmm. So someone is in the energy of wanting sudden wealth and to travel towards what they see as wealth, right? Uh-huh. They want a fresh new start. They want change. Uh-huh. And again, <laughs> this individual wants to be a wealthy man. This is what spirit is saying. And they're working hard. They're working hard to head towards it because they have thoughts of a woman, uh-huh, a vision of loveliness, okay, this person thinks about them often, and they have a message that they want to send to them, as well as wanting to speak to them, this is a courtship right here, mm. and it would be a main male again, so this is where we're heading, this is the energy, this is what we see, that is going on, Taurus energies, let's go ahead, let's get into this, to all these different energies find out what's going on in your energy it's blood moon check your placements be it your sun moon rising mm -hmm. wherever you may have this placement in your chart mm -hmm. Taurus energies cards for Taurus give us cards let's tell the story Spirit, more cards. Let's tell the story. Taurus. It's me. Let's talk about the cards we have before us, Taurus. Okay, overall energy is the moon that is here, okay? This is illusions, and this is really a bunch of fear and anxiety, as well as some deception. First card to come out in your read, Taurus, is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is here, letting you know that it was some conflict and some competition and a lot of arguing that was going on, mm-hmm. This was all about, you know, not having any type of cooperation and people that really are two different people. They're people who are not in the same mind frame. Mm -hmm. And this was a lot of opposition in the energy. And then we have the hangman that is here. Hangman is here. This is about someone seeing things from a new perspective and wanting to be independent. Mm -hmm. and tapping into like a higher cause, a, a higher self, and willing to sacrifice what it is they have going on now in order to get more, in order to get greater, right? This person wants to be victorious as well. They're in the energy of wanting to be victorious, and also they want to be recognized for their rewards uh huh, and success. They want to be overall successful. But we have the seven of swords as here. The seven of swords is here is about being able to take responsibility, okay? And confessing what it is that you have done, all right? This is uh, someone turning a new leaf, wanting to have a new life, wanting to be that honorable person that we see, official person that came out in the Kipper, okay? And how they're doing that is they're stepping into this energy of releasing themselves from this three of cups that's in the reverse this is people who gossip and they're full of scandal and there's a crowd you know that pretty much is full of deception and they this is the social life the people who are betraying this is about betrayal also three of cups in the reverse mm -hmm. possible cancer energy that is a part of this betrayal doesn't have to be but this is what's showing up in the cards okay so let's talk about it 
Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it some more. Move these up just a little bit. Uh-huh. We have the Ace of Pentacles out here. And this is about new beginnings. This is right on top of the pathway, okay? This is about someone wanting to start over with their life, possibly their career, and, you know, getting more resources, new resources, opportunities, and manifesting their own abundance as well as security, okay? This person, this energy, whether this is you or someone in your energy, okay, is all about wanting some prosperity, okay? So let's talk about it. We have the Ten of Wands that is in the reverse. Now, Ten of Wands is about releasing because it's become too much, all right? To the point to where you feel like collapsing, mm-hmm. And feeling as if, you know, you are on a downfall. And it comes from procrastination, from not wanting to turn a new leaf, okay? That's what this Ten of Wands is here talking about for my beautiful Taurus energies, okay? Let's get it. The Four of Wands is in the reverse. Mm -hmm. This is somebody's home life, you know, and they're having problems within their family and there are no roots. There is nothing but a lot of insecurity and no faith in it. Someone has given up on this energy of a family life. Mm -hmm. So... Everything is falling in line. Let's talk about it some more. Again, the overall energy is the moon. And this could possibly be Pisces uh -huh. energy, which only is the representation of illusions and fears and anxieties and lies and the deception and everything that is caused through an illusion. I'm going to split the deck and it feels like it could be a three-sworded thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is three of swords. This is about heartbreak and a separation. Yeah, emotional pain, heart problems. Somebody may be possibly having heart issues as well due to betrayal and the upset and trauma and also loss. That's what this card represents as well. A bunch of loss has been taking place. Okay, let's talk about it some more. Let's talk about this energy of wanting to be victorious. Victorious in this energy spirit why is the six of wands here it's pretty. Mm, because of the juggling okay this is somebody wanting to find their balance mm -hmm. somebody having to make a choice mm -hmm. yeah somebody realizing what their priorities is are wanting to be in the energy are not able to be in this energy of it okay uh-huh change is happening so someone wants to be in the energy of finding their balance yeah two of pentacles tell us more about the two of pentacles somebody wants to tap into their natural resources who they are, be true to themselves, their own magic, right? This is about resourcefulness as well. So two of pinnacle spirit. Thank you. Mm, yeah, it's heartbreak. Mm -hmm. It's heartbreak, Taurus. <sighs> yeah, someone is in the energy of feeling upset about basically this heartbreak, possible Libra energy is in this energy mm -hmm. yeah let's talk about it this hangman tell us about the hangman all right we got two cards that came out this hangman is here when it comes to a new perspective somebody now has a new perspective on this energy of feeling conformed are feeling like they're stuck in some type of religious belief possibly as well as you know um spiritual wisdom that they could have been in taken in this time okay somebody is understanding that it's not all about this conformed way of thinking and that you know there is another way to understand 
Yeah, because this is about conventionality, someone being in this energy, but the hangman is here. I ask spirit what is going on, and the hangman is about sacrifice for a higher cause. So somebody, this is considered like the most high energy, right? Source energy. So someone has changed their mind about the way they see things when it comes to being conformed, religious beliefs, spiritual beliefs, whatever it is. This is also an energy that is feeling like they have in this energy. This comes out with the Hierophant. is the Five of Wands. Mm -hmm, excuse me, Pentacles. And which is about feeling like they're struggling and suffering due to the way they have been thinking feeling as if they have to be conformed to a certain um, belief system has led them to unemployment possibly and some isolation and a recession that is happening in their life. And this is your energy, Taurus. This is the Taurus energy and this is Mercury. This is about who you've been communicating with and what type of communication that has been either supporting you or depleting you of what it is that you have to do, okay? Let's talk about it. It can be a Queen of Wands energy as well, which is the energy of a Pisces and an Aries energy, okay? So yeah, this is what's going on. Let's get into it. Taurus, let's talk about this fighting, this competition, this conflict. Five of Wands for Taurus. Five of Wands for Taurus, Spirit. Five of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five of Wands is here because the Magician is here. And if the Magician is being used for conflict, okay, this you pretty much can say conflict magic. This is Virgo energy. Possible Virgo energy that is here doesn't have to be. But conflict and the Magician together is telling me, oh yeah, you got the overall energy of the Nine of Swords. This is about anxiety, anxiety, fear, depression, all of that. Somebody being in their head. So there has been some conflict managed meant with this <laughs> magician okay and it has been causing nothing but conflict and having someone in their head constantly about it mm, let's talk about it some more magician for taurus yes, please. Mm. okay Mm. So it may be, and this is Sagittarius energy and Scorpio energy together. It may be some, the magician being resourceful when it comes to any type of messages going forward, being given to a past love or a past life lover, a nostalgic minute energy that is uh, in connection to the story. So yeah, there has been some conflict that has been going on when it comes to someone communicating, okay? Because we got the Eight of Wands says here, this is about your fruits of labor and rapid change. Somebody wanting change and wanting to be in, um, you know, air, possible air travel as well is what the Eight of Swords is. Someone being excited about a new life when it comes to a past nostalgic memory of an energy that is delightful and brings comfort and is playful. And they can be their true selves with this energy that is childlike. Uh -huh. And it could possibly be a queen of pentacles energy. This is a mother, a wife. This is also Sagittarius energy, okay? As well as Capricorn, all right? This is someone who is supposed to be nurturing and loving and stuff, right? But this is the overall energy when it comes to this Six of Cups and this Eight of Wands energy and the Magician, okay? So what Spirit is telling me that it's possibly a Queen of Pentacles energy, a mother, a wife, a mother figure that has been causing some conflict and chaos, magic, when it comes to these energies that we're speaking of right now, let's get into it, okay? Take what is yours, leave what isn't. But this is about family when I split the deck. This is someone in the family, okay? This is Ten of Pentacles, as well as Virgo energy, possible Virgo in the family, okay? Let's talk about it some more for my Taurus energies, all right? Let's talk about this Three of Swords energy. Mm-hmm. Three of Swords, spirit. For Taurus. Three of Swords. Thank you. It's for the 
Lovers in reverse. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Two of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. So, what led to the heartbreak was disagreements and really an unstable relationship that was in disharmony with distrust. This is about separation and this is about breaking up. This is about a division. This is about constant tension. Uh-huh. Yeah. Constant tension. This is about being unhappy, unfulfilled, and just staying in that energy of hurting, of pain. Mm-hmm. So, of course, this is why we see these two of cups energy. And also, I want to point out that this is not a divine union. Because this is a union in the upright that is sent from the most high. But it's in the reverse. So this is not a divine union. This is something that was force fed. Mm -hmm. And this is why we have this three of swords here. Let's go ahead and put one more card on this two of cups that's in the reverse. Spirit, two of cups in the reverse for Taurus. Mm, too many. Okay, let's talk about it. Spirit, two of cups in reverse. This me. A page of wands is here. This is Sagittarius energy and Aries and Leo. Okay, fire sign energy, all right? Yeah, this was the decision that had to be made because someone is in their head. This is about somebody using their imagination and being inspired outside of this relationship. This is fresh ideas. This is somebody who feels energetic and who has had an eye-opening experience. Somebody feels as if they want to heal. Uh-huh. And this star energy, that's the overall energy. This is about a direction, okay? A renewal, finding some trust somewhere, some belief. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it a little more. The Seven of Swords. What's going on with the Seven of Swords for my Taurus energy? Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Seven of Swords in reverse is about delays and sorrow. Uh huh. And also not feeling so, you know, hopeful about the future. This is about gloom and also failure, okay? Mm. When it comes to a King of Wands energy, possible Sagittarius energy. Mm hmm. And we got Scorpio as well. Yeah, when it comes to a natural born leader. A visionary? Mm-hmm. Who is a dreamer? Split the deck and we got the page of cups here. Let's talk about it more. Okay, when it comes to this three of cups in the reverse, this is someone that wants to remove themselves from feeling despair behind the company that they kept. Three of cups, excuse me. Three of cups in reverse for Taurus. Three of cups in reverse. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups comes out again. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to deal with this. They have a new way of looking at things. They see creative opportunities, fresh new people, uh -huh, fresh new energies. And they have ideas that they're, they are not able to use in this energy of the energies of these individuals that are in the reverse. Uh-huh. And there's been a tower that has come to this. Yeah, these friends are foes. And this person has come to a realization that the friends are the foes. Mm -hmm. Taurus, if this isn't you, this is definitely someone in your energy, right? Take what is yours, leave what isn't, okay? Let's talk about this um, Ace of Pentacles here. Uh huh. This is new beginnings once again. Opportunities, mm -hmm. gifts in the form of the Pentacle from the Most High. Someone sees a pathway. Someone sees sees a way out, and they feel as if there is a possible feminine energy that is in expectation of them seeing a way through the pathway. Okay, Ace of Pentacles spirit. Why is Ace of Pentacles here? Mm, too many. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. 
Mm, for the Ace of Wands, uh-huh. Someone wants new opportunities. Wow, this is really stressed, okay? Someone feels like a breakthrough, okay? And this is also Sagittarius energy, as well as Aries and Leo, fire sign. This is about progress. Somebody wants a breakthrough. Somebody's feeling passionate about the opportunities. They're feeling encouraged to go forward, okay? Overall energy is this five of wands, okay? They're not in this energy or not wanting to be in this energy, and no, actually, they're in this energy of being passionate about what it is that they want, but the Five of Wands is here, and it's causing conflict. It's causing a battle. Somebody is having to fight for what it is that they want for themselves because they're being put in competition, and it's a lot of hostility around it, okay? Someone also could feel as if those others in your energy have to put down the swords because they are defeated. They feel a sense of defeat. Somebody had to put the swords down. Uh -huh. This is Aquarius energy as well, ruled by the Venus planet. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about it some more. Ace of Wands, Spirit, Ace of Wands. Why is Ace of Wands here, Spirit? For the Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is that mother figure. That mothering energy. Um, or it could just be a mother. Everybody who is a mother who is not mothering. And that's a fact. So let's talk about it some more. Why is Queen of Pentacles here, Spirit? Mm, we got two that came out. We'll keep them. Two of Pentacles is here. When it comes to the Knight of Pentacles, who is all about somebody just wanting to be practical. And they're very determined mm -hmm, when it comes to having a strong will and making improvement. And also, this is Aries and Taurus energy. This is your energy. So, and I can't help but to see the Queen of Pentacles with her pinnacle in her hand. So this is possibly a Taurus energy making the offer towards a Knight of Wands energy, which is Cancer and Leo energy. Okay, a Knight of Wands fire sign as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is about possibly someone making an offer. Taurus energy making an offer doesn't have to be but someone made an offer towards a knight of wands energy okay nine of wands energy is somebody rebellious and very passionate okay in and out mm -hmm. yeah this is the lens that is it's being looked at so an offer was made to a knight of wands why why is this here spirit for taurus Is here for the will of fortune. Mm, someone wanting to basically turn the wheel of destiny. Mm -hmm. This is Pisces energy ruled by Jupiter. Someone wanting to man make destiny. Mm -hmm. You can't man make destiny. Destiny is destiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, will of fortune spirit. Thank you. Yeah, and this is why the tower happened. Yeah, you can't man-make destiny. No matter what type of magic you're playing in, right? Yeah, now this is about a sudden change. So basically this change had to be forced upon someone trying to hand-make destiny with making offers to keep things that were no longer meant to be kept people places and this is a tragic ending is how the tower is also viewed but it is a beginning that comes with it but it comes through the energy of some trauma and revelations that are also made okay mm -hmm. overall energy is the chariot and that's about you know control having some willpower and focus 
and wanting to move toward somebody wanting to move forward forward is the action mm -hmm. move towards the gift mm. let's talk about it some more so we have the four of wands this is somebody's unhappy family life four of wands in reverse tell us about the four of wands in reverse for taurus nine of cups uh-huh so there's someone that is in the energy of romance is nine of cups energy possibly four or could be a libra uh-huh that they're feeling a lot of grief when i split the cards from despair behind somebody does see some romance somewhere this is the prince charming card of the deck when we talk about this here nine of cups energy this is someone who you know, they want to follow their heart and be true to their dreams. Wow. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, they want a new life. This is about the world. This is the world that is here, okay? And the world does everything as well as turn, right? That's what it does the most of. Somebody wants to travel towards harmony mm -hmm, and have a sense of belonging. Again, they want to be in this energy of feeling as if they have achieved something. And this is also about unity, coming together with what is meant for you to be with as far as the destiny is concerned, right? This is about wholeness as well. The world is here. Possible Leo energy doesn't have to be a Leo, but this is about the root chakra as well. The world represents the world chakra. This person may want a new life with a queen of swords energy, possible Libra, Virgo energy, uh-huh, who is tapped in, third eye energy, mm-hmm, and this energy may have created some boundaries when it comes to this whole new world with this energy okay whether it's feminine or masculine energy okay we do see what's going on there's a marriage a separation happening and somebody's looking to start a new life elsewhere because it was destined for them to do so this is about destiny this is about following your pathway to life uh-huh yeah that's what's going on destiny is happening Mm, let's talk about it some more. Now, who's out in the cold? What is this out in the cold energy? This Five of Pentacles. There. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Spirit. That's loss of income. That's all of that. Uh-huh. Okay. So, loss of Pentacles is here. However, someone is in the energy of, you know, working in their craft somebody's at work when it when it comes to changing that energy okay this is eight of pentacles this is doing what you love uh-huh this is what you're skilled to do mm -hmm. eight of pentacles spirit why is eight of pentacles here what are they working on okay Fear of the unknown. Wow, canceled plans. So somebody has had to go through some canceled plans and they're working hard um, when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who has, they, they're, uh, they want to avoid taking some type of risk, okay? Mm -hmm. they, they don't want to be left in place because this is, being left in place this is somebody that is not looking forward to a new life all right um possibly due to this five of pentacles energy okay yeah feeling left out your finances aren't looking good as well as you know wanting to be in this energy or being in this energy of working hard to get out of the energy of the two of wands in the reverse like feeling afraid to have to start over and take risk and have personal goals to accomplish um we got justice at the bottom of the deck okay so justice this may be some karma that's taking place 
Yeah, this is all about cause and effect. Like, you know. Yeah, th let's talk about it. Why is the Two of Wands in reverse spirit for Taurus? Uh, a temperance angel is here. This is about moderation. This is about, you know, patience and also finding some type of solution. Somebody wants to find a solution to this when it comes to the Empress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she wanted to come out too. She was just sitting here. I won't put her out here, but I felt it. Okay, so let's talk about it. Mm. Someone in your energy is looking to find there. And Empress Energy, that's you, Taurus. Somebody wants to become an Empress. Uh-huh. Somebody, somebody wants to find their balance, their moderation. Uh-huh. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. Hmm. Wow. Let's talk about this happiness that's in the reverse. The sun in the reverse. Sun in reverse for Taurus. Hmm. Yeah. It's not good. We got an emperor that's in the reverse. Yeah, an uh, unhappy, controlling. This is lack of discipline. This is someone who is excessive. This is a toxic male energy that is not happy where they're at. So they have no choice but to feel as if they're in, in this energy of gloom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this toxic male energy, the emperor in reverse, which is someone who is just, they don't care anymore. They are in this energy of wanting to be successful. This energy doesn't want to be in reverse. Mm -hmm. They want some discipline. And this is why these changes are happening. Because the people that they have put themselves amongst, okay? Don't offer that. Mm. This energy has come back to reality. Seven of Wands. They got some clarity. And this emperor is in reverse because of it. Why is the emperor in reverse, spirit? Give us more. Taurus energies. Mmm. I'm not going to take them all. I'm going to take the first one, show his face. And it is a queen, a king of pentacles in the reverse. Mm -hmm. And the king of pentacles in the reverse is no joke, okay? So, this is a father figure, okay? This is a provider. This is the person in the home that you look to to take care of of, you know, all the wisdom that take place, takes place. But this individual is in the reverse as an emperor, so they can't lead from where they're at and from who is within the family room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Also have, look how cold it is. The king of swords is even in reverse. So there is a definite masculine energy, Taurus, in your energy who cannot be who it is they're sent here to be because of the environment of which they are in. They are all the kings in reverse. That's horrible. That's not an energy you definitely want around. Who wants to hold on to that is the question. Let's talk about it some more. Remember to flip and switch these energies for your story. Take what is yours and leave what is not. Beautiful ones. Taurus. Let's talk about this Page of Cups energy. And we'll get ready to close out. Wow. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups spirit. Okay. Page of Cups is here. 
Mm, we got the four of swords in the reverse. Mm, so someone is really... Taurus, you may be really nervous and feeling some anxieties around... This is also stagnation. Around a new start that is coming, okay? Whether it is a marriage, a separation involved, just for the energy of Taurus. Spirit is telling me clearly that someone is in their head and they're scared to start over. They don't have the willpower to start over. They're more worried about the start of someone else versus the start of themselves. Mm. And this will, of course, always leave you in the Five of Pentacles when you're worried more about what is going on in the energy of someone else versus creating that from which you are aligned with to go forward, to tap into your destiny. Because we can't control anyone's destiny, okay? And you may be in the energy of also coming back overall energy, coming back to reality, okay? Which also is attached to coming out of some anxieties or wanting to be in that energy of coming out because it's clear that you're dealing with an emperor in reverse. Mm. A father. And it's not working for that person who wants to be official it's not working for the official person anymore that person wants to change wow flip and switch these energies okay tell us more spirit tell us more about this six of cups now this could be someone also who you've known for a very long time however this energy wants to send a message to someone else, it was fighting behind someone wanting to depart this energy of this union that we see a marriage that is over dead. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups, spirit for Taurus. Mm. So, someone is in the energy of just watching and possibly spying. It would be helpful to say that they're doing some introspection. Mm -hmm. But spirit is going to say what it said. And that's what came out of my mouth first. Somebody's spying, lurking, and watching. And this is Mercury. This is all about communication. So if there is no communication being made verbally, somebody is making this communication etherically, through the ethers, through the sound waves, through the internet, mm -hmm. in ways that you can watch others, okay? Outside of in person, right? Mm -hmm. This is about somebody feeling contemplation, not wanting to really even move on. And they're contemplating on how they're going to move, okay? Through watching others once again. And because someone is enlightened, mm-hmm. They're enlightened. They see some things that they probably don't even want to face with their reality. They don't want to face that a death has come to something. There goes that coughing again. Mm-hmm. So they're watching the other energy. Mm. Tell us more about the hermit before we close out, Spirit, for Taurus energies. Okay. Yeah, the truth is out here. This is all the truth. Someone wants new opportunities. Clarity is here, okay? And also justice, as well as a breakthrough. Somebody's made a sound decision. And there is grief and loss behind the way everything played out. My beautiful, beautiful Taurus energies. Mm -hmm. Thank you for allowing me to provide your read. Have a beautiful day in this blood moon energy. Happy full moon.